Right, so the time has come. I am finally replacing my desk, which I've had this desk for literally around, I don't know, maybe four to five years now, actually. It was literally like 95 pounds off Amazon. It was like a corner desk. I've taken it apart. I've had it over there. I've had it long ways. Then I've added the triangle bit back to make it a corner desk. And there's just one issue with this desk. It's a bit wobbly and I haven't got much mouse space. I've literally got like this much mouse space and when I'm playing first person shooter games such as Apex which I've started recently I like to play with a low DPI and I just do not have the mouse space to play it not only that the desk is getting a bit old it's a bit like I said it it's just a bit wear and tear and I just I fancy a change so I've got a desk over here um, I'm actually going to pan to my video uh, camera right now on my phone as I'm going to do a little slight recording of a video of me dismantling my entire room and building this desk in a time-lapse version and then we're going to review the desk once it's built uh go through the structure of it and why i think it's good and what i maybe think that isn't good and we'll go from there so i will see you on my phone next now Whoop. so right this is the first time i've ever recorded on my phone i have no idea what this is going to turn out to be like i've tested the audio it sounds a little bit crisp so i'm happy with that so this is the current desk that we've got right now my stream lights are currently resting on my we're not going to talk about what that's resting on right now we've got two stream lights that obviously are back here the tv that you guys don't really see on stream very often and obviously the setup itself you can see the mouse space that i've got that i was talking about it's literally very small so like I said, low DPI when playing like first person shooters, it just doesn't really make much sense. It doesn't make sense. Uh, so the desk that we've gone for is the Ikea Le Mans 200 by 60 centimeters. Am I saying that right? Le, Le Mans? I think I'm saying that right, Le Mans. So it's 200 by 60 centimeters. My current desk is around 45 centimeters in depth. So it's a bit bigger, which is gonna be very nice. And obviously the length, Massive improvements, massive improvements. So what we're going to do is I'm actually going to be dismantling the entire room. I'm going to be taking out all of this decoration here, which is going to take me ages to put back up and it's going to be a nightmare. But I'm going to set the phone up. We'll do a little time lapse of this and then we're going to actually construct the desk itself, put it together and I'm going to, yeah, we'll just go from there. Thought it'd be a cool little video for you guys. And this is something different recording it from my phone. So yeah, let's, let's go, let's go. Jesus. So I have moved the, well, chest of drawers over there and we have now finally put the desk up. This is surprisingly quite sturdy for an Ikea desk. Uh, it's got five legs, like I said. So it's got four legs traditionally and it's got the fifth leg in the middle. And that fifth leg, it makes it literally, it's, it just doesn't wobble. It's pretty neat. I reckon if it didn't have that fifth leg, it would wobble pretty bad. Um, and obviously when you have like your two monitors at the you know on the, in the middle of the desk and then you've got your pc on it as well and stuff like that i reckon if you didn't have that middle leg it would bend and obviously start to like warp a little bit so that middle leg is like perfect it's quite a nice necessity now we got a, quite a bit of mess going on we need to just add everything back into the room and add some lights and voila there we have it. So we got some cool lighting. We've got some lights under the desk that you guys don't really see, but it's more just for my own eyes for show. So I'm gonna give you a little tour of what actually is going on in here as not many people see the entirety of my room. So on the left-hand side, we've got a chest of drawers that is actually my mum and dad's. Uh, they need a bit of space still, so they still let me have the room, but they get a little bit of it so they can store their clothes and stuff. This is actually my dad's Logitech steering wheel driving simulation kit, and it has nowhere else to go. So it sits there out of the way. 
away. Uh, I've got one of my stream lights at the top, another one in the distance, and I actually have my ring light just there, but I don't have that on for the purpose of this video. We've also got the decoration side of things, which you guys see on stream a little bit as well. We've got a little corner over there with a few things. The Fallout helmet, which is a nice touch. That's actually my dad's. Um, most of these ornaments are actually my old man's from like collector's edition games. We've even got the, uh, the cyberpunk one down there. Just chilling at the bottom there. But uh, let's go to the actual desk here. So I've been using the desk now actually for a good, well, just, just nearly up to a week now. And I thought I'd give it a week until I do this part of the video, just in case something did go wrong. But now I can actually give a, a good review on the desk and how I actually feel about it. I'm actually just going to turn those lights off for just a sec. Let me just uh, unplug this here. There we go. Now, with these legs, a lot of people would probably find this middle leg quite annoying. Um because obviously it gets in the way. Now you could probably argue that it does get in the way, but I actually don't, it doesn't get in the way at all really. But that middle leg is needed. And as you can imagine, I've got my PS4 with a little bit of um, a monitor sort of stand, two monitors, I've got my PC, and a few other things on the desk which obviously add some weight to it. And obviously if I've got my elbows leaning on here as well when I'm gaming or doing some work, some editing, as you can see, I'm actually editing this video currently while I'm actually recording this bit. Uh, so yeah, the, the desk itself is surprisingly sturdy for being something from ikea now i'm not slating ikea products but for something that's 40 pounds you could obviously understand that this isn't made of the materials that you'd probably find from bigger sort of brands but the the main thing about this desk i can say is you don't need to spend a lot of money to get a desk that can be quite sturdy now as you can see the edges they're uh, they've got some plastic sort of like embossed acrylic paint on the edges now, if you were to cut this desk open, actually, you would find a sort of honeycomb paper filling, uh, sort of cardboard slash paper filling. So, you know, of course, if you were to drop something heavy for like a stress test in the middle of the desk, it's probably going to go straight through. But obviously, with anything that, we, you know, if you take good care of something, anything has the potential to be in good condition for a long amount of time. Now, I'm just gonna switch back to my actual webcam here that I've set up for the prior reasoning for this recording. I'm gonna go through the sort of products of the table and how I really feel it compares to other things. So here we are back at the desk. I just wanna quickly say as well, but I didn't know if I mentioned this, but you saw from the angle that I was recording from just a second ago, there was a lot of space on this desk. Uh, like I said, it's 200 centimeters uh, on my last desk. It was a corner desk, so technically, if you were to obviously stretch it out, it technically could have been. But even without the corner bit and putting them side by side, it was wobbly. And the desk for the leg structure itself made the desk extremely wobbly. Even when I streamed a fair amount of times, I had quite a few people coming into the chat going, why is your face wobbling? Why is the camera jilting up and down? I haven't had that since I've had this desk. And this desk, this, uh, you know, like my words out properly there. This desk still wobbles a little bit. Don't get me wrong. I'm not going to sit here and say the, you know, this desk is 10 out of 10. Um, I think to get a 10 out of 10 desk, it would need to be glued to the wall, for, you know, so it has no wobble whatsoever. But for something that costs £40, uh, you really can't go wrong. And like I said, the more stuff I've got on the desk, like my PC, my monitors, it really has eliminated the wobble completely. Uh, so when I'm playing games, uh, when I'm streaming, when I'm getting into the moment, get stuff, something gets intense and I'm leaning on the desk, there's no harm of me jilting the camera that's on a tripod now, or even if I attach it to the monitor, so it's pretty safe. Uh, the desk itself is made of purely more fiberboard. I'm actually going to put the uh, product details on just this side of the camera. And you can see them here. Uh, it's got fiberboard. Like I said, it's got a honeycomb sort of like cardboard slash paper filling. So you're like, yeah, if you were to drop something on the desk for a stress test, I can imagine something like a flat screen TV would go through this desk. But if you were to drop, I don't know, say a controller, you're probably going to chip the desk because it's not, like I say, made of the best materials. But my practice is if you treat something with good, you know, of good care, anything could be in good condition after a year or two of using it. I reckon, you know, I've seen many YouTubers that are using the uh, IKEA Le Mans desks and they're getting at least two to three years of use out of this desk with minimal chipping. Now that's to say how careful you are with your products and how much care you put into them and keeping them like, you know, clean and all that sort of stuff. That depends on the individual person. So when you read reviews on desks that are cheap priced and good for the budget, don't always just assume those people that are giving them bad reviews are just saying the desk is bad. It's probably how they're treating the desk rather than how it's actually made and manufactured. So just keep that in mind for like when you're looking at reviews. Because I did a bit of review searching and there, sure, there was a few nasty reviews about this desk, but it was unrealistic reviews. It was more of like what they've done to the desk. 
rather than how the desk comes and what you're paying for. I think you've got to realise it's £40, you get five steel legs with like a polyester steel, it's steel but like a polyester powder coating. you got fibre board and you've got sort of acrylic painting on the edges. It's £40, it's not steel, it's not complete, complete oak wood, you're not going to get the works, but for £40, you can't really go wrong. You can't go wrong. So yeah, uh, I don't really have much else to say on the, the Le Monde desk. Uh, you can get this desk in different sizes. The one that I'm using is this one. I've just put it on the page for you. Um, and you can actually get other sizes by like 120 centimeters, 140, 180 centimeters. And obviously you can change the legs yourself. You can actually go onto the IKEA website and you can actually build your own desk. Obviously the prices will vary depending on the legs that you choose. I've gone for the standard Adil's steel polyester legs that cost literally like £12.50. Uh, these really were manufactured quite manufactured quite well in my opinion. They're sturdy, they don't buckle. There are a few other designs on Ikea that I personally wouldn't have gone for because from my previous desk, you'd expect the legs that I had to be really sturdy, but I find desks with that Z frame, just from my previous experience, they wobble too much. The center of gravity doesn't actually keep the desk grounded. It actually gives it more of a purpose to wobble because the center of gravity goes from one corner to the other. And if you lean on it, it's gonna let the desk tip a little bit more. That's actually what I found. And I had quite a lot of equipment on that desk. And that desk was actually made with better materials than this one. This one, like I said, has got five legs, one in the middle to keep it grounded, stop it from warping and bending. And yeah, it wobbles a little bit, sure. But I purposely went to wobble with them, but you know, if you're doing everyday stuff, type in a mouse in, you're fine. You're all good. Uh, yeah, so don't expect the works from this desk. This is a desk if you're willing to spend £40 and a little bit more on a delivery. After all, it is Ikea. Um, I waited a little bit longer for the delivery prices to go down because of COVID. Uh, they did have a, del a delivery price of like £50 at one point. And I was like, I'm not going to pay delivery for a desk. The, you know, the delivery cost more than the desk. I waited for the delivery to go down. I paid for your delivery and I think it was worth it. I'm enjoying the desk. It's allowed me to enjoy my streaming more than anything else because I feel like I'm actually on a professional setup for once rather than cooped up in the corner. Um, so yeah, guys, if you want to get the Le Mans desk, I would highly recommend it. I've only been using it for about a week, but go check out some other YouTubers. I will link a channel to a guy called, I mean, I think I forgot his name already, Tech Block. There's a guy called Tech Block. I actually watched his videos before actually getting the Le Mans desk and he swears by them. He's been using it and he had a four quad monitor setup with these types of desks and they they held it for a long time um and to my knowledge they didn't break either so these desks are durable it just depends on how you keep them in care so with that being said guys that was a little bit of my room and a little bit of a time lapse of how it all went like i said i thought it was a good idea that i record this after i've actually used the desk so i can actually give it a review rather than just building it and going oh yeah this looks nice and sturdy go get one no i've actually used the desk it is durable it does work i haven't chipped it yet myself if i'm I haven't really been looking out for chips, but it's, it's all good. But yeah, guys, Le Mans, Ikea, £40. Go check it out. Uh, I'll leave the link for Ikea in the description box below as well. If you want to see me stream on Twitch throughout the week, I do stream from Monday to Friday, 12 to 5 on an average time. Fridays are like my horror days, and I do stream Apex and World of Warcraft as my main days. The link in the uh, for my Twitch will be in the description box below. Also, like and subscribe. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I will speak English one day. I promise you. One day it will happen. Like and subscribe to this video. Uh, it really it really means a lot to me. Uh, I didn't think I'd actually be able to get this YouTube channel on the flow like I did. And I'm getting a lot more subscribers coming through that are like sort of showing me support on the content. And I cannot thank you guys enough. Seeing one subscriber come through on YouTube when I wake up in the morning. Oh man, it makes my day. It makes my day. So guys, I will see you in the next video. Catch you later. And stay fancy. Stay fancy. I nearly lost my voice there. That... <clears throat> stay fancy. That. I see him. I see him. Hold on. I just, I just want to see if I can get this dude. Oh, you're fucking kidding me, bro. <laughs> no way. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Okay.